Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer on this Monday, Monday of Holy Week. And I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. So as we've been doing through the rest of Lent, we will begin with our litany. Mm -hmm. okay. Joseph rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb. Joseph of Arimathea wrapped Jesus' body in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. Christ is the Holy One, through whom the world was made, and all things served him, Christ the Son, on whom our sins were laid. A great stone sealed Jesus' tomb, but on Easter morning, an angel rolled away the stone and announced, He is risen. Lord Jesus, through your death and resurrection, the weight of our sin and guilt was lifted. We have new life through you. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. You yourself, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The heavy weight of stone has sealed the place of death where Jesus lies his flesh and bone till Easter dawn's first breath. Our reading comes from the 28th chapter of Matthew. Now after the Sabbath toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake and an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took, uh, took him of, and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Let us continue now with our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Lord. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I think we just repeated that. Yes. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. 
Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun should not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have prepared a quiet place for us in your Father's eternal home. Watch over our welfare on this perilous journey. Shade us from the burning heat of day and keep our lives free of evil now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading continues in Jeremiah in the 11th and 12th chapter. The Lord made it known to me, and I knew then that thou, that didst show, that thou didst show me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me. They devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the hand, the land of the living, that his name be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, who judges righteously, who, who triest the heart and the mind, let me see my vengeance upon them, for to them they have, they have committed my cause. Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I complain to thee, yet I would plead my case before thee. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? Thou plantest them, and then and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. Thou art near to in our mouth and far from their heart. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou seest me and triest my mind toward thee. Pull them out like sheep from the slaughter and set them apart for the day of the slaughter. How long will the land moan and the grass of every field wither for the wickedness of those who dwell in it? The beasts and the birds are swept away because men said he will not see our, our later end. If you have raced with men on foot and they have wearied you, how will you complete with horses? And if in safe land you fall down, how will you do in the jungle of the Jordan? For even your brothers in the house of your father, even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you. Believe them not, though they speak far fair words to you. I have forsaken my house. I have abandoned my heritage. I have given the beloved of my soul into the hands of her enemies. My heritage has become to me like a lion in the forest. She has lifted up her voice against me, therefore I hate her. In my heritage to me like a speckled bird of prey. Are the birds of prey against her round about? Go assemble all the wild beasts, bring them to devour. Many sh uh, shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation, desolate. It moans to me. The whole land is made desolate, but no man lays to the heart. Upon all the all the bare heights of the desert, destroys, destroyers have come. For the sword of the Lord devours from one end of the land to the other. No flesh has peace. They have sworn wheat and they have sown wheat and have reaped thorns. They have tired themselves out by profiting nothing. They shall be ashamed of their harvest because the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage which I have given my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them up from their land, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them against each of his heritage and each in his land. And it, and it shall come to pass. If thou wilt diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, as the Lord lives, even as they taught my people to swear by Baal, they, uh, they, then they shall be built up in the midst of my people. But if any nations will not listen, then I will utterly pluck it up and destroy it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Philippians, the third chapter, beginning with verse 1. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the, the same things to you is not irksome to me and is safe for you. Look out for the dogs. Look out for the evil workers. Look out for those who m manipulate the flesh. For we are the true circumcision who worship God in spirit and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. 
though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also. If any one man thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law of Pharisee, as to the zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as refuge in order that I may, again, may gain Christ and be found in him and not have a righteousness of my own based on law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his suffering because of becoming like him in his death, that if possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this uh, or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brethren, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting that lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But But now now in these last days, he has spoken to us by by his son. This is the day the Lord has... Oh, oh, wrong one. Glory Glory to the the cross cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, our our salvation, salvation, life, and and resurrection. resurrection. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ our salvation, life, and resurrection. Let us pray. All-powerful God, by the suffering and death of your Son, strengthen and protect us in our weakness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this very special week as we begin this wonderful week of Holy Week. Uh, And I hope to see you tomorrow morning as we continue and begin our day with the word of the Lord. Thank you. Have a great and safe day and blessed day. Bye-bye.